Are you looking to buy property in, in Florida? Wait, I wanna talk about 10 things. Yes, 10 things you need to be aware of before you buy real estate in Florida. Now, my name is Troy Funk, and that's Fun K, spelled F-U-N-K, Fun K, Funk. And I have been in the real estate business almost four decades now, and in that time, I've seen some crazy things. And what absolutely blows my mind is in this last year or so, I've seen so many buyers make some silly decisions, buying properties without home inspections, these multiple offers, just so anxious to get into that real estate that they've actually made some really bad decisions if they understood some of the history of Florida and some things just to be aware of if you're gonna buy real estate in Florida. So let me begin on the 10 things that I would you know, caution you on, on what to be aware of when you buy real estate here in Florida. Welcome back. Again, I don't wanna scare you, I just wanna give you some warning. If you're looking to buy property in Florida, there are some things you absolutely should know of. I see so many people coming here and they don't realize what they're getting into. So with that, let me. I'm gonna start from number 10 and go to number one. I think you're gonna find number seven, four, and especially number one really interesting. With that, let's begin. Chinese drywall, boy, what a nightmare that was for me personally as I purchased a home that was three years old and then later found out that it had Chinese drywall. And now what is Chinese drywall? Well, it's, it's drywall that became very uh, toxic here in Florida because we are a humid state, we're a tropical state. And what happened is when this, China, when this drywall came into America, especially in Florida in a tropical climate, the humidity did not react well and it gave off toxic gases that were harmful to not only uh, people living in the home, but especially the house to the point where it would deteriorate the copper and uh, make the mechanical systems in the house not operate. So you can imagine buying a property and then all of a sudden finding out that it's contaminated because the drywall is contaminated. So when did this happen? Well, it happened for me around 2006. The market was absolutely soaring. You couldn't sell homes fast enough and builders were building homes at, rap, at record pace. And as such, uh, we got all this Chinese drywall that came into our market area. And uh, it was in, in many cases very toxic to Florida because Florida is a humid state. So that's one thing to be careful of. Depending on the age of your home, you absolutely need to check for Chinese drywall. Condominium or homeowners associations, often referred to as HOAs, can be very problematic for a new homeowner if they have not done their due diligence to read those restrictions before they purchase the property and make sure they're comfortable with those restrictions. Now, I know when I purchased my home, I have a dog, and it was real important to me that I fenced that property after we took ownership. And I knew it was homeowner, there was a homeowner's association. So I made that offer contingent upon approval that I could put a fence approved by the HOA. And the, the HOA did approve that fence prior to closing, I purchased that property. Now, I, I see a lot of people make the mistake of buying property in Florida, not knowing that they have restrictions on their deed. And those restrictions are legal restrictions. Now, what's problematic here in Florida is that a HOA can actually foreclose on your property. So if you owe fees to an association or you're found uh, to, to be in, not in compliance in, of, of your rules and regulations and they foreclose or they uh, file a lawsuit against you, the, the problem with a HOA foreclosure is they happen relatively quick here in Florida. Uh, it's not like the old days where a bank, you can hold off of a bank years to foreclose. No, HOA foreclosures can happen much faster. And when the HOA forecloses on, their pro on your property, they own it. Uh, even though there's a mortgage on the property, they own your property. And in that case, they can evict you, uh, turn your property into a rental property. And you're, you now, uh, are still legally liable for this mortgage that's in default, but the HOA is uh, has 
possession of your property is running your property until that property gets foreclosed. So now you have another foreclosure. So I always tell people, look, I'm not an attorney, but uh, HOAs are really important here and pay your HOA and condo fees. And by certainly make sure you know the restrictions going in to a condo or HOA uh, association, just so you don't have legal consequences forward and, and you're at peace with your neighbor. So homeowners and condo associations here in Florida can be problematic if the buyer doesn't do their due diligence before they close on that property. Population explosion. Now that is obvious. You know, when you have a thousand people a day moving to the state of Florida, we are seeing a lot of population, a lot of growth, and I'll tell you what, not everybody is going to welcome you if you move to Florida, especially the locals. They were used to Florida the old way, and all of a sudden, you gotta understand, things have really blown up. So the population, of course, has increased pollution, it's increased our traffic, and it's it's just become a little different. So uh, Florida's a different state than where it was even a year ago. So the population is certainly a challenge and something to consider because it's getting to the point, and I haven't been used to this, but if you travel the interstates, there's times you definitely don't want to be on the interstate, and there's definitely times you don't want to go to the beach. You, you really have to schedule your life around other people at this point because there's so many people coming in. So when you come to Florida, understand it's not necessarily the quiet place it was even several years ago, depending on where you want to go in Florida. sinkholes. Sinkholes are where your property actually sinks into the ground and yeah that's a problem here in Florida but it depends on where you're at in Florida. Now I'm on the central west coast of Florida and I have seen thousands of properties in my career and I can only think of a, if maybe a few that I'm aware of where we, there was an issue of a sinkhole where the ground was was caving in and it was causing structural damage to the house. Now not to say uh, that that you know, that can happen anywhere in Florida, but I mentioned there are particular areas in Florida that have a higher concentration of sinkholes. So depending on where you want to live in Florida, you may want to just be aware of what's the probability of sinkholes. What's the history of sinkholes in the area in which you want to locate? So can, sinkholes can be a problem here in Florida. Red tide. Red tide is a big problem in Florida, especially on the west coast of Florida. Now, if you live on the water, the beaches, or in a canal, you're going you're gonna to feel the, the brunt of that when we have red tide. Red tide is typically seasonal, and in short, red tide is an onslaught of dead marine life that comes to shore as a result of algae bloom. So, uh, can be problematic. The beaches in, in severe cases are closed. It's not good if you have health problems to be red, near red tide. So obviously with red tide, we have warning that there's red tide. And if it's a problem, we find that some people, they live on the water, they just stay away from their home during that time. Now that time could be a few days or in, in one case, it, it had lasted a couple of weeks. But red tide is a problem in Florida. Insurance, oh my gosh, what a nightmare that has become here in Florida. It's becoming more difficult to get homeowner's insurance on your property. Now that's especially true if you have an older house and if you have a home that has an older roof, let's say a 20 year old roof that doesn't leak, well, you're gonna pay maybe and sometimes twice what the insurance could be just because you have an older home with older an older roof. So. That's one thing to consider when you're purchasing a property is you have to kind of do a cost evaluation. And sometimes it's easier just to put on that newer roof just to save on the difference of what it's gonna cost on your insurance. So just look into insurance. Insurance has become extremely high. Uh, it's not competitive in the marketplace to go out there and find uh, cheap companies that will insure your property. And the, the thing that a lot of homeowners do is they just keep raising the deductibles 
and um, you know, ideally find somebody that will insure them. And in, in cases, like I said, you may have to improve your home just to keep the cost of your insurance affordable. So insurance has become a big issue here in Florida. Mold. Mold is a big issue here in Florida. We are in a tropical state with a lot of rain, a lot of humidity, and if a home has not been properly maintained and has re received any type of water intrusion, it could have mold. Mold is toxic, can be extremely unhealthy. So if you're buying a home, it's absolutely critical to get a home inspection and check for mold. Now, if the house has mold, it doesn't mean it's unlivable. It just means that it needs to be treated. Often that means that all the issue that has had any type of water intrusion has to be removed by a professional and reconstructed. So mold is a big issue in Florida. If you're buying a home, absolutely make sure you get a mold inspection with your home inspection. Now, Florida is obviously a flat state, and as a flat state, uh, we are also in the tropics, so we have a lot of rain, and with that, there is the issue of flooding, and flooding can be a big deal here in Florida. If you're in an area that is, is flat and there's no water retention, flooding can be an issue. Now, you'll see on newer homes that they build lakes, and aesthetically, they're very attractive for homes to be on a lake, and um, but they're also really necessary because those lakes are for water retention. So where you typically find areas of flooding are areas that don't have surrounding lakes or where there's, there's a water retention problem. So that's one thing to be concerned with when you're buying property is you wanna just look at what's the overall water retention for that area. If there's a, a mass amount of rain, where's that water going to, to go? So flooding can be a problem here in Florida. Now, crime has always been an issue, regardless of where you live. Now, I've been in Florida almost four decades. I haven't really seen a lot of crime because Florida has been a retirement state, but we have a lot of population moving to our area. And with that, we have a lot of new friends and a lot of new strangers, so to speak, coming into our space. And with that, we, we've also seen a lot of gentrification. Areas that were considered very unsafe at one point are now very desirable. There's a lot of new homes, a lot of new construction in neighborhoods, having been an old timer here in Florida, uh, that weren't safe. You know? So does that mean the criminals have left? Well, I, I don't know. It, it, it certainly changed the dynamics of our state and area. So we do see typically crime is, is more rampant in the inner cities, but I, I guess I'm naive because when I see what's happening in the other places of the world, I have a lot of people say, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> this is not bad, but obviously crime is always an issue regardless of where you live. Having a new home built in Florida doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a good home. Now, I had a home built in Florida and I was really unhappy with the house, especially years later when that house started to form a lot of mold. And that was all done in the construction process. You see, when they built the house, they had put piping for the plumbing in place and then pour the foundation for the home. And then I let them know, wait, your, your, your pipes are wrong. They're not, they're not, they're coming up in my living room, not my kitchen. And they didn't inspect it. Uh, they had to rip out the concrete. They had to re-pour. They broke the seal. And years later, we started having mold in the house. Not to mention all the other problems with that, that house that I no longer own. But issue being, when you build a new home, doesn't mean that it's gonna be a good house. And one thing that I absolutely strongly recommend is that when you buy a new home, get a home inspection done. Now the builder's not gonna be happy having an, an inspector in a home prior to you closing on it, but it's, it's just good business, right? You never know what's wrong with that house. I recently sold a home to a good friend of mine and I told them my closing gift to you is I'm going to pay for your home inspection on your house. Now they, they thought that was unnecessary. It was, you know, it wasn't needed and it turned out it was necessary. I mean, we did find problems with that house, 
buyer was okay with it, but they, they at least knew going into that new home that as a new home, uh, there were some construction flaws that needed to be addressed. So even though you buy a new home in Florida, don't assume that it's going to be a good house. It should be inspected prior to closing. Well, I hope that information was helpful to you. And if it was, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I welcome the opportunity to help you on your journey. Again, my name is Troy Funk. It's F-U-N-K, Fun K. I have been in the real estate business over 38 years on the central west coast of Florida. I am currently a real estate broker and I can help you anywhere in the state of Florida. Now I have other videos on my uh, YouTube channel to help you. And again, if I can be of any help to you, feel free to reach out to me. I thank you and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.